I serve the eternal fire. On the road all day, and now... Cram it, boss boy. I might use, like, more... wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Uh. Watch it, Trav. No regrets, not your stomping ground. A brazier. This time of year? I know that what smell. Says, Formaldehyde. That aim. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. That's Weighed on his heel. Right. Took a step back. Yeah. Gotta get around him! I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, my head's ringing. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Human. Priscilla's. Here. Strange. 
Even I couldn't jump this wall. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Von Grads told me all about you. Ah. Doubtless you've heard how I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful? Or did he neglect to mention it? People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but, alas, I had to do something, so I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning, at his home, on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner. Sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with 
Gotta find her, now. Till next time, Master. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, you'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills. Tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pies in the Holy Book but had not a word of She had all the Holy Books in Signia's Valkyries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in. Just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests.
pathetic. your eyes listen you got the wrong guy save your trickery taking you to the heiress <sighs> well killer's already escaped lead the way hero we got him lady ingrid wasn't easy but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself this man is innocent forgive me i saw him running for it was the killer fleeing I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid. I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Another empty formaldehyde bottle.
thinking customer will see right as well as this deals this side. Rimoires and tracks blaspheming the sacred flame especially. with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Well, I know I'm a material girl. Any means must. Want to fight me, Wolfie? <laughs> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. What, no foreplay? No formaldehyde? Coals in my eye sockets? What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. <coughs> You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Wanna bite me, Wolfie? can gather it here, or at my place. Formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. 
got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square, preached from it. How funny. That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead they laughed, through stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not cut it.
I've had enough of it. What's your hand? Yeah, they be. Looking to make some coin too. Greetings, I... Greetings, girl. Listen, would you craft something for me? So long. She's witches coming! like rain. What is it, Grey Boy? Looking for adventure? Better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. 
Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Brockamon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe... She might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Yes, Geralt? Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmerius Hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept, scalpel in hand, than I ever was behind a lectern. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair, cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. Farewell. Red yellow to yellow and white to white. That's fine. Awful pile.
Damn, you're ugly. some.
Anyone there? You can come out. It's safe now. Ah, a witcher. What happened? No guardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. Uh, I don't know. Must have been those beasts you slaughtered. This would be the first time ghouls came to help out a village in trouble. At this rate, they'll be taking jobs off the notice boards before long. That's how it was. Quite well on it. You're hiding something gonna find out what it is. There's not here. Black ones didn't even find anything. Out of my way. Godspeed to ye. Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Handiwork of ghouls. Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Jaws strong enough to crush armor. Thrown to the ground with great force. Internal hemorrhaging. Scent of blood still strong. Ought to follow it. There's nothing there. Tracks lead to this house. What happened here? What do you mean, what happened? You're all still in danger, and only I can help. I'm the only one who can rid you of this threat. What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you know, you could all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? There's tunnels beneath the village. Tunnels? Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures. Sell them to Novigrad merchants. No one expected anything bad to come of it. We dug through some rubble. Found a chamber. The beast slept inside. We felled the prop so the ceiling would collapse. Didn't bury the monster, though. What did the monster look like? were dark down below. Couldn't see. So how did kill the North Guardians? I ran. Couldn't watch it happen. Give me the key to the door. You'd go in. No. Wanna pour wax through its head, tell you your fortune. Now give me the key. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You dug through to the monster's lair, then buried the entrance, but the Nilfgaardians opened it again to look for treasure. 
beast killed the Black Ones and returned to its lair. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Yes. I'm going down there. If I'm gone long, run. Barring the door, nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. Fur shreds. An Ekimara. Hibernated here till the villagers woke it. can be lifted. Armor pierced. Arteries torn open.
gods. He lives. Found an Ekimara hibernating underground. It was old. Must have been asleep for centuries. An Ekimara? Vampire. Won't trouble you again. You cut off its head, drive a stake through its heart. Did what I had to. Don't go down into those tunnels anymore. Ekimara aren't known to be loners. We didn't hire you. Still, seems you deserve a... You bet I do. Pay up. Farewell.
You are in our field. What brings you here? Saw your notice. Can anyone tell me about the monster? I can. The patrol has been lost. Somewhere along the south shore of Lake Windomer. We must know why. What makes this witcher's work? Some brickmakers live south of here. They call their village Byways. Almost empty now. Many have run away. They speak of a monster which kills. Redanians do not patrol there. That would be foolish. And robbers do not attack Imperials. That would be even more foolish. This leaves one option. A monster. Been to Byways. A vampire was terrorizing the village. This is why they did not return. Ekimari are tough, even for a group of soldiers. We will bury them with honors, as heroes. Your reward, well deserved. Is it true?
look around some. take part in the races. If you've coin for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. These races? Tell me about them. They run as per Erasmus Vega Bud's dying wish. He came into his fortune by gambling and remained proud of the fact to the end. Family doesn't mind having a racetrack right by their house? But the house, his fortune, would not even be theirs had they not fulfilled Lord Erasmus's wish. 
He made it a condition. Any special rules for the races? They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. Two competitors, simultaneous start, first to complete a lap around the track, wins. I want a race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Off you go! Erasmus Vagelbart Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory to the victor. Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Competitors, saddle up! <coughs> On three! One, two, three! Off you go! Erasmus Vagelbert Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory to the victor. Bravo. Congratulations. You won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? <laughs> Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Vagelbert, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet, so he's seen as something of a local champion. Competitors, saddle up! On three, one, two, 
fighters saddle up. On three, one, two, three, off you go! The Erasmus Whoa, Day there, of Roach. Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach's glory to the victor. Fantastic race. Congratulations. A grand victory. Is there a land where I might Geralt of Rivia? Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And yeah, brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Farewell. Damn, you're ugly.
Show me what you have in stock. Congratulations. Quite the winner, the Vagal Buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Palio. Make some real coin. Palio? Never heard of it. Fuck me, what a peasant. The Palio's a race held at night in the city streets. Used to be every district sponsored a competitor. Things are different now. You're gonna race jockeys put forward by Bedlam and Reuven, but my coin's on you. Fine, I'll race. Lovely, colour me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, cos I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. 